My name is Jack Hill and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's vlog is going to be a bit about my diary, which I have right here. Uh, and also, I've got a new mic, so I might phase right now. I'm going to phase between the camera microphone and, and the, the new, new microphone. microphone. Hello, 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 and there we are. That's the new microphone, so uh, I hope the audio is slightly better. Too much clicking, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, present diary. I wrote this, uh, I started writing it actually because one of my lecturers who came to visit me whilst I was inside suggested that I keep a journal of everything that happens because there is uh, no experience in life without narrative. That was his exact words. So I've done exactly that. Uh, and I wanted to share some with you because some are weird, some are funny. Uh, a lot of it is just a bit of an insight into what prison is like. So I'm just going to share little sections of this as we go. And people can pick up any questions that they want, and I can do response videos as we go. Okay, so I, I've talked a bit about the first couple ones. Uh, <laughs> one of which was a diagram. Let's see if I can show you this diagram. A diagram of uh, me doing a giant poop in the toilet. And then, you know, having to put a coat hanger inside a plastic bag to push it down because it blocked the toilet. So there's a bit of the level that we're at here. <laughs> Sorry, it's not all toilet humour related. Okay, so I clicked again, damn it. Um, uh, Tuesday 29th of November. Um, I shall read it to you first and then explain what's happening. Well, that is to Shell Mum Joe Manda. A food hospital is cool. Lady with fish odour syndrome fascinated me. A weird syndrome that, they smell like fish all the time. Hence fish odour syndrome. Um, almost December. I was always looking for the next point in time. Obviously, everyone's always looking like, oh, it's almost this month, it's almost that month, it's almost summer, but almost got through to this. It's just part of the prison mentality that goes along with sentencing and stuff, and being trapped in a place you can't escape, I guess. Uh, Richard asked me to learn Christmas songs on the piano. I'm currently training up my sight reading ability as I'm shit. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> That's how I ended Tuesday uh, 29th. Uh, I remember at that stage there was actually a little hole in my window someone had burnt it out with a lighter so they could send um, packages of people outside on the yard and so they could, if someone threw something over into the yard from outside of the prison, they could then go to this wall that I was next to I've never done this, but this is what it would be used for and the person in my cell would have put down a piece of string really quickly the person would have tied it to it and you could just pull it back up and then get it through the window it was only tiny, it was only a gap about this big so they'd have to know the size of it, but you could, you could probably get it through the window um yeah, uh, Food Hospital, that was a really cool episode. That got me through a lot. But yeah, Cher was a very good friend of mine. and th That was family and friends, basically, that I was writing letters to. That occupied a lot of my time, writing as many letters in depth as possible, just ranting and rambling about stuff. And I had uh, a good enough support system and kind enough friends to respond to me quite frequently and send me letters um, all the time. I also, the piano part was... Um, because I'd not really... I'd played a tiny bit of piano when I was younger. Uh, for like maybe six months. Um, attempted lessons and stuff. Uh, I really hated the lessons. I just wanted to play by a year and prat around really. And then wasn't really good with music either. Sight reading I mean. Actually reading score and music. I wasn't particularly good at that stage. So then stopped that musical career. Nothing for about... Uh, I don't know. Five, six, seven years. And then started playing guitar and a few other things. And then suddenly, when I was in prison, got back on a piano and was like, oh, this thing is lovely. So I started learning it again. Uh, and played a few songs. What was it in the previous one? Oh, yeah. In the previous one, Wednesday 23rd, it was World Faith Day. And I performed a song called Taylor uh, seven times. Got a lot of praise and disbelief in my 2.5 months of playing piano. Drama Girl. And then I left a blank space because I couldn't remember her name and was hoping to meet her again. Never meet her again. Uh, met her again. Um... And I had a laugh about Manxgiving, a genius new holiday to abuse uh, for the sake of a big meal. Manxgiving, I do like that. Um, so let me go on to the next one. This was one of the things I wanted to talk about. This was my first prison hug. <laughs> and I wasn't anticipating that when I went in. I just wrote it down because it was such a unexpected occurrence, I imagine. Uh, so there's this guy, Dale, who was on my wing. Uh, he was on the basic wing with me. Absolutely lovely guy. Um, uh, he, he was in for a while. I think he was IPP and he was waiting to get let out. 
Uh, and he'd been in for a very bad reason. Pro- him and probation had just gone head to head a little bit. Uh, and they phoned up his work at one point and um, uh, informed the place that he was working for of his criminal record. Um, or that maybe that he had a criminal record. I'm not quite sure of the details. Uh, but this is what he said. They informed him of his criminal record and he got he lost the job because of it. It was only a temp job and they just decided to not take him on anymore. So he was obviously livid with probation and told them off and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, eventually what ended up happening when he was out was uh, probation filed some complaints and blah, blah, blah. He got, he got a new probation officer and then they filed complaints and various things. So uh, he, I, I don't know what happened, but he ended up getting sent back to prison for no crime except for uh, jarring with probation, which it can be a big problem. I'll do later uh, vlogs on probation as well uh, for helping to keep prisoners out of prison. Uh, but yeah, let me tell you this one. Wednesday, 30th of November. Uh, had a nice chat with Dale. He gave me a hug. We took each other's de- details. Uh, in brackets, strange sense of camaraderie in here. Uh, he leaves on Friday. <laughs> it was the Wednesday. I'm so fa- happy for him. He deserves freedom slash another chance. Uh, more than most. Uh, also did a 0.5 mile sprint in three minutes this morning. Smiley face. <laughs> I just tried to put as much detail as possible and just the vague things that happened that day. And sometimes I'd, I always had plenty of time to do it, um, but sometimes I wasn't especially in the mood to do it, to write the uh, diary um, with lots of st- different stuff that was going on. Emotional management and trying to deal with other prisoners and trying to deal with my actual sentencing at this time. Um as I'd not been sentenced long by this point, I'd been sentenced for... I think I got sentenced at the beginning of October or November. So uh, it wouldn't have been long from then, either a month or two months. Um, but that's it for this week. I just wanted to share with you that I got a prison hug after only a few months in prison. What was it? August 31st, November, like three months in prison. August, September, October, November. Three months in prison, and I got a hug. I'm just that kind of player, you know. I get along with the prisoners that well. <laughs> Subscribes, likes and comments, all very appreciated. Shares are also incredibly welcome. Uh, If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Ask me. I'm open to all questions. Uh, And I will answer as best as I can. Sometimes it's it's quite difficult to answer things, but I'm always here for you. And I'm here to give you the truth. That's the reason I'm doing this whole uh, vlog, is to try and put the truth out there and just share my experiences, because it's it was weird. And I'm happy to share it. So, I love you all. Subscribe, like, comment. See you soon. Bye.